Hello, I'm Zachary Millett, and this is Inside by Play Dead. For those of you unfamiliar with Play Dead, they may be in Limbo that came out a few years ago. Uh, Limbo was a 2D platformer puzzle solver. Inside is also a 2D platformer puzzle solver. But some of the differences are, and probably most notably, noticeably, is the use of color. Uh, Inside uses color whereas Limbo was mainly black and white. And which is one of the things I really like about Inside is its use of color. It actually inspired me when making my own game to use com color in a similar way. So we can see that the boy's shirt is red, which helps him stand out from the background. This allows Play Dead to have these full environments without the character getting lost in those environments so the player can always easily find the boy in the scene. Um, and then also something Inside does really well is conveying to the player the state of things happening inside the game, which is about to come up here in our first encounter. So right there in our first encounter, uh, some of the things you might have noticed is that when we approach that scene, the character crouched down. In, uh, inside does this a lot throughout the game, where the character in the game, the boy, tells the player what he needs to know by how he behaves. See here again we have him crouching because he spots the people. Yeah, this is something inside does really well, and I really like it. That's one of the first things I noticed when playing the game. And it allows Play Dead to not have a HUD in this game. There is no HUD. It's, I didn't disable the HUD for the video. There just isn't one. And right here we have our player solving the first puzzle. Uh, yeah, there's no HUD, which is something I really like. Everything that needs to be said to the player is said through the characters. Um, his character's actions like crouching. So the first puzzle um, is easy to solve. The puzzles seem to get more complicated, but the controls always stay simple in this game. If you're using the Xbox remote, it's the left analog to move, A to jump, and X to grab onto things, like this box here. Uh, controls on keyboard are pretty simple too. You know, it doesn't matter if using gamepad or keyboard, you should have a pretty easy time playing the game. You, you don't have to be an experienced player, and you will pretty much pick up the points. That's just one thing I like. And it's something that makes it a casual game, even though inside doesn't look like a casual game. You know, most casual games will have this full, realized environment. This yeah, so in that encounter, the player couldn't crouch, or the character couldn't crouch because he was wading through water, but he still was able to convey to the player that he was trying to be avoided by continually looking over his shoulder at the car and at the light source, and it was really easy to be to tell when the player responded because the light got brighter and then whoever time that dog attacked did a really great job on it because you just get away. So I did mention earlier I was making my own game and this helped inspire it. Uh, right here I just wanted to point out that we know that the boy is in danger because he's still turning fast, which is not always proud for a little over the shoulder. Sometimes it's the speed of the dad tells us what happens to me. 
so yeah, I was making my own game, and I'm hoping that in this game, I can have a lot of detail in the environment in the background, and use color to distinguish the playable character and the playable elements of the game to those who play in the game, and for those things not to get lost in the background and the environment themselves, for the two to be easily distinguishable. Things that are able to be interacted with and things that I don't know. So something else that sets inside apart from other platformer games, I think is this use of physics and that the way the player jumps and moves is more realistic than others. Games like Cloudberry Kingdom really just test you on your platform skills. The way the character moves isn't really re realistic. It works for its own game, Cloudberry Kingdom is a great game, but it's not like inside where movements are very grounded in reality. You, know, you can almost forget that you're playing a platform or one playing this game. Like you can forget that it's a casual game. This has been Inside by Play Dead. And thank you for watching and just to leave you on one last thing. Uh, this gate here, you can actually walk through it or jump on it. But one way is not more beneficial than the other but both have its own way of interacting which i thought was neat see if you jump here it opens as opposed to when you walk through it so it just shows that play dead took that into consideration when making the game which i thought was really nice little touch they did so yeah thank you for watching <laughs>